I'm going to give it a name. Paradoxical narcolepsy. And that is where unrelenting high intensity orchestral music. Hi, Betty. Hi, Celia. Well, I've dragged you along on my pop culture literacy project once again, this time to see the Super Mario Brothers movie. Mm hmm. So, yes, I you did. I will let you go first. Let us have your notes. Well, they're very brief, actually, mm -hmm. because the movie wasn't, it was just not an epic. It's obviously. not much to talk about. I agree. Please proceed. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the first place, there were obvious references to the game, which I did not, I mean, I, I couldn't make any sense of them because I don't, I never played the game, but obviously mm -hmm. there were some references to the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could tell that mm -hmm. there were some things that were from the game. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of good things about it. I liked that it was very innocent and harmless. Um, the brothers really cared for each other. It was just so, so it, it, very innocent, you know, very innocent. Um, even the bad guy, even though he was very mean looking and he did mean things, he was just a real big doofus. He was just, a, you know, a yeah. big, dumb, mm -hmm. big, dumb guy. Yeah. Um, I would call it a lighthearted adventure. Uh, and also, like, like I was, I was really uh, actually swept away with, um, with this story in as much as like, I, well, like when we got transported into this other world from Manhattan, uh, I totally forgot about Manhattan until the very end, you know, when, when they returned to, I had completely forgotten that we were not in Manhattan anymore. And it was visually great. Um, yes. It was really good production design, animation, hair and cloth animators did an incredible job. Mm. There was this one scene I really noticed in particular where Princess Peach was walking like from right to left, screen right to left, and it was, a, it was just a headshot. And the hair on the side of her head was like moving with each step she took. It was just perfect. It was perfect. That's a real art. Oh. Hair and cloth animation is an art. There are people who support families animating hair and cloth. Ah. Um, and I also there were like some funny, there were funny designs. Like I really, I really got a kick out of the helmets on top of those toadstools. Oh. I don't know if you noticed those helmets they were wearing. In the first place, they had these ginormous heads. And then they, they were like, there were these like little helmets perched on top of them that that made their heads even bigger. I mean, it was just like, it was just crazy. Um, and really the only, the only drawback that I would say, which is, I mean, kind of a big one, but the only drawback was that there was just too much action. It was just one action scene after yeah. another overstimulation. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything else other than that. I wasn't expecting film noir. And like I say, I wasn't expecting an epic. I was dozing here and there, and I know that I didn't miss anything. Um, so that was, that was basically the only drawback for me is just this, just, you know, hyperventilating with the action. Well, um, I, I agree with you mostly and I, I didn't really, uh, I mean, I kind of appreciated the colorful artwork except that it, it just got to glutting my eye. I mean, I, I know it, it was great. I, I, I know you would love it, but I will say this movie was definitely only for kids. I, I, you could, you could take your kid to see it and you could endure some mm -hmm. of it, I mean, you could endure, you could endure, but it's it's really a kid's movie. It's not only innocent, it is mm -hmm. sexless. It is sexless. Mm -hmm. There is actually mm -hmm. a beautiful princess mm -hmm. involved, and in the end of the movie, no mm -hmm. one is sleeping with her. Yeah. The Mario mm -hmm. brothers are- I don't think they even kissed. No, no, the Mario brothers, no. I don't think there, no, there, I don't no. think there was a kiss in it. No, no, no. Um, yeah. uh, let's see, so we have this nice plot. Yeah, yeah, Mario is the crazy dreamer. He has to deal with his naysayers, and then the course of the movie, spoiler alert, he does. And, um, <laughs> you know, it hadn't occurred to me that, uh, yeah, I think, I guess I also was swept away, but, but okay, I think uh, it's, it's kind of, funny you dozed I dozed too and I think that I have and maybe since you just admitted that you dozed I think this is a phenomenon I'm gonna give it a name paradoxical narcolepsy and that is where 
unrelenting high intensity orchestral music constant throughout an entire movie combined with rapidly flashing lights and images pounding away, flashing, 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 actually beats your senses into submission and you just fall asleep. Turn off, yeah. You just yeah, turn, turn off, turn yeah. Off. Maybe yeah. I would be a, a good uh, candidate for hypnosis because, I mean, I think this is what some of the like, uh, hypnotists do is they, they use a lot of noise and light, actually, and movement to put their subjects to sleep. Mm -hmm. But I also dozed off. Now, now, the thing is, the action sequence was, I mean, what was it, 25, 35 minutes or something? Okay, we, we set the movie up where these guys have to rescue, um, they have to rescue Luigi and the Mushroom Land. And there is like a 35 minute war or a 45 minute war. I don't know, I fell asleep a couple of times. And, yeah. and, and yeah. like every time I woke up, they'd be bopping along doing something else. She would, she would be on, mm -hmm. on her nifty little pink and white motorcycle uh, racing along. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and um, I, 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 I mean, that was like the whole second act. Like we had the setup. okay, we're gonna go rescue Luigi and, and save Mushroom Land. And then it, it, it doesn't it doesn't wrap up until the very end when they burst into Brooklyn and and that's where that's where the uh, mm -hmm. that's where the end happens in about three minutes. But mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. what is it? A fifty five or a sixty five minute battle scene uh, in, in the middle? That's the whole second act. So I yeah it, it, it was just too much and and uh, there wasn't mm -hmm. there wasn't it didn't sustain any plot in there. So yeah it's it's just uh, probably kind of like a gaming experience. The movie definitely did not tempt me to um, take up Super Mario Brothers. Right, yeah. I don't, I'm not, no, temp I'm, not a t I'm not tempted to play any game. And also besides, you know, it's been many, 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 many years since I was amused or entertained by, you know, three foot tall men with big bulbous noses, those kinds of cartoon characters. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that was sort of like, you know, pat on the head kind of spectatorship. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, I was just kind of a little bit involved because they were, like you said, they were so innocent and Mario's a crazy dreamer and Luigi is such a faithful brother. But, um, mm -hmm. but otherwise... Together. Mm, what, did, what did they keep on saying? Together we can do anything? Or something like together, that. Together, something like that. Together, it was we something about being together. Say Brooklyn, The yeah. two bros together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cute. Right, that's the game experience, Which yeah. is what the movie was. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a gaming experience. Yeah. yeah, this is this was the this was an hour and a half of the game yeah. without having to actually play push it. any buttons right. by yourself. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. Yeah, so yeah. so that's what um, I don't know. Snooty English major thought of Super Mario Brothers. Just uh, drop off your kids mm. if possible. Otherwise, mm -hmm. just sit and endure. I, I guess. Well, and it's one film that you can drop your kids off to see. It's a safe. It's a very safe safe film. Excuse me, I keep on burping. Okay, take that out. Well, Betty, thank you very much for your thoughts. As <laughs> usual, your art director insights were very interesting to me about the cloth and the hair. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I, I, You know, visuals can carry, I've said this before, visuals can carry me through a bad movie. Mm -hmm. so.